Hi, this is DOSBox Mom. Lost in Blue is off practicing the tribe making dance of Veratina. And welcome back to the long game of King of Dragon Pass. In the last episode, we just finished making a tribe, but just barely. So we definitely need to improve relations with other clans before we can have a shot at becoming Tribal King ourselves. Let's take a real quick look at... Okay, Battle Leader of the Year. Yeah, so we started a tribe. learn a little bit more about Tarsh. And yes, we did make an alliance with the Peluski. So, let's see. Ooh, we know all the details of El Mongars instead, although we've done that recently. And we did just recently learn Lank or Me finds the truth, so that might be a good one to do this season. And we could learn more of Humak's blessings. Yeah, that, that number is going to reset at the beginning of the next game year. Because that's how many hero quests we've done since the beginning of the game, it's going to reset to zero for just, and then we'll have a true tally of how many hero quests we performed since we formed a tribe. Did Lock or Me finds the truth? Yes, it's... Usually you get more helpers once you have a tribe than you do when you ask for helpers from another clan. Question is, okay, we got 80 worshippers from our tribe. We want to fight darkness, grant knowledge to our people, learn about dragon paths, learn the secrets of a myth, make the quest stronger, or strengthen us against chaos. Um... I'm thinking maybe learn about Dragon Pass. So I think we basically know... ...enough about the other myths that we can do all the other hero quests. Okay... Now we could try bringing helpers from our clan. Or we could try contacting the gods directly. Let's see if we can find helpers from our clan. Okay, for Isaris, Arnold Dinny would definitely be the one. Then for Stormbull, uh, I don't think we have a Humakti. I mean, a and a Roxy. Kamaki, of course, we've got Saratar. We'll try Saratar. Don't know if it's going to work. Colonel Denny said that although the god she'd sold the truth to was across the Great Water, she knew a special shortcut that would take Denor there by land. The lands be set by old varieties of chaos beasts. You might enjoy cataloging them knowing one, but Saratar will enjoy killing them even more. And indeed, you encounter many types of chaos creatures, including brews, gorbs, slimekin, ghouls, and crushed, crushed kids. 
Finally, while traveling through a ruined city, the group is attacked by a gigantic chaos thing, one whose name can only be pronounced by the dead. And I think normally you're supposed to let Stormbull fight alone. The chaos critter smashed the ground with his... Oh dear, that did not work. Okay, <laughs> we'll just let her spirit shoot away. When... Well, Blacktail the bull died. Oh dear. Well, I think we're going to reload that. And I think this time we'll try contacting the gods directly because that often seems to work better. And also I will have out the hints, although... If you've done... Asari's... The Conciliator before... You already know some of the bits of Lancor Mifon's The Truth because it's... related. Okay, let's try to learn about Dragon Pass. This time we'll try to contact the gods directly. Dunoral arrives in a dark and blasted place. The winds are strong and cold, which is good, but they also have a strange stink to them. There are Orlanthi around, but they're dressed in the ancient manner of your ancestors. One of them looks like a traitor. It must be a Sari's. And we need to tell him. I'll try all options to get him to come with you. Ah, uh, you don't come, the trade routes will be confused forever. What you say is true, City Sari's. Without the truth, there can be no proper maps. I'll go with you. Then Denoral sees a fearsome warrior who must be Stormbull. And, like we did with, when we were doing the Asari's Hero Quest, say, This way! There's chaos to fight! Where?! So the rocks following along. Okay, and we're going to let Stormbull fight alone. Stormbull defeated the chaos critter, slaying it utterly. Asari's leads Dunoral and Stormbull to a far distant place, across the ocean and far to the south. Fortunately, he knows a shortcut, and they're able to get there without a need for a boat. When they arrive, their way is blocked by guardians who insist that Dunoral must undergo a meeting test with them. I name one skill, and we compete against each other in that skill. Then you name a skill, and we compete with one another in that skill. And we'll try to win one contest and lose another. The first contest was proposed by the foreigner. It was a contest to see who could stand the most pain. The foreigner won that contest without Denoral trying to lose. He suggested a memorizing contest, which he then won. The foreigner smiled and clapped Denoral on the back. They gave him a gift of magic and sent him on his way. Isaris takes Denoral through the shortcut that leads to the faraway place where he sold the truth, but he becomes distracted, showing more interest in an argument between mastodons and saber-toothed tigers than in taking Denoral to the god that, got, that bought the truth. Without the truth, there can be no reconciliation. Asaris told him that his words were lies. Asaris takes Denoral to the place where the one who bought the truth lived. That god is called Granbread. He has the truth, but it's still twisted around. Denoral demands that he give the truth back. Granbread refuses. That's mine now, but you shall not have it. Knowledge is my food. As soon as I untwist the truth, I'll pound it into meal cook it into loaves of bread, and devour it. Denoral challenges Granbread to a game of questions. The game of questions went on so long that Granbread became ravenously hungry. He tried to eat the, tru the truth as it was, in its sharp and twisted form. The thorns of the distorted truth punctured his stomach so that his torso opened up and the truth fell back out of him again. And we ask, why'd you do that? Granbread couldn't answer this question, for he wouldn't admit he'd been greedy and foolish. So he lost the contest, and with it, all truth forever. Now Dunora was alone with the truth, but it was still thorny and twisted. How could he put it back in its pure form? Well, when in doubt, put a leather sheet over your head and think. But nothing came to mind. 
Then Asaris came in and answered a, and asked a foolish question. Just answer it. Even though the legend says that Lon Cormier tried a bunch of other things first. Asaris left without a word of thanks and Dunoral turned back to look at the truth. It wasn't twisted anymore. He tried to figure this out. At length, he decided that in responding quickly to Asaris without much thought, he had stopped trying to mold the truth into the shape he wanted it to be. He had instead allowed the truth to come to him. Stormbull got bored and wandered away. Asaris bade farewell to Dunoral. Dunoral returns to the land of people, his quest a successful one. He was still wounded from the pain contest, but hardly noticed it in the excitement. New areas magically appeared on our maps. Uh-oh, yesterday the herders found our prize bull Blacktail had died. At least he'll live on in his plentiful oxbrick. Okay, so let's save that. Because this time we were successful. I think maybe if you can succeed at the Asaris and Lancor Me quest with helpers from within your own tribe, you maybe get, I don't know, more bonus magic for it, but it's usually a little easier to win if you just try to contact the gods directly. So, we had lots of babies last year, 20 more children initiated as adults, more people, fewer cattle, fewer horses, still more sheep, and we are ahead of the game on food. So let's go ahead and assign magic for the year. And now notice our reputation, instead of going from stick picker to king, it goes from bad king or grain to heort, and you know, that's what it changes to when you have a tribe. And we also now have categories for destiny and heroism that we can allocate points to. Now here it, we performed it. I don't know. I, that's going to reset eventually, I'm sure. Our god talk was predicted more or less normal harvest. Many of our cows would have twins and triplets, so we're going to have really good herds. Yeah. Quest. Children. Crops. Herds. Health. I'm sure Denora will be back with us eventually. Let's put a little bit in Heroism Destiny. And... Probably wouldn't hurt to have more mysteries because you can always learn more details. Okay. War, trade, hunting, diplomacy, definitely more in diplomacy. Maybe the last one in maybe trade or maybe war. I'm gonna try trade. Grifton died of old age. His grandchildren are beside themselves with grief. Well, that was our trickster, so we're going to have to reorganize the clan. The clan moves jubilant. Farmers are uncertain. Weapon things are confident, so... We still need to make the farmers. Okay, let's... Okay, Indigarden's still the best leader. Ingana is still the best animal person. Colonel Denny is still the best... Um, Bargainer. Zaratar is still the best combat person. Dunoral still the best at custom. Okay. 
banana is a possibility. Or Frithor. But let's see if we can find another trickster because having a trickster on the ring would be very helpful with if and when we try to do quest. But in any case, we need somebody who's a different who follows a different deity from the ones we've already got. So not Chalana Roy, maybe Arnalda or Barntar. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be Arnalda or Barntar. So, what are we weakest in? Excellent, now. We're now in bargaining. We're now in magic. Renowned in combat. Actually, he's excellent in leadership. Um, we could maybe use a plant person. And a male would probably be best. So I guess Frithorf will have to do until we find another trickster. And that will probably make the Carls happy. Members of the cult of, El of El Mal, loyal saint and horse friend, approach you with an offer. As part of their homage to their god, they wish to perform a ritual to improve the bloodline of all the horses of Dragon Pass. They're willing to perform this ritual for you. A drunken trickster seems to figure somehow in the ritual, which they insist must be performed in secret in a stead full of your best horses. Many of them are Nimoldi. Yeah. Except they're off telling me all my favor. She doesn't have an opinion. Refuses. And she's curious what Trickster does. Uh, they say, but no, they say it's like, Yeah, let's try oh, and They thanked us and said that the moldings, which many of them belong to, would one day take us up on that favor. They gathered up our horses, but instead we heard banging noises and a muffled cry. Finally they came out, thanked us for helping the Monorail Mall, and departed. Okay, well, let's see what else we can do. Yeah, if we had a trickster, we'd put him on the ring. Uh, we could use more training partners. And of course we need to improve our relations with other clans. Okay, well, let's... Okay, the Boscovi and the Carandoli are trading partners. food, although we're not that short yet. Uh, possibly the Slapfoot Ducks. And who has, who has cows? Except the Ravens. Slapfoot ducks. They're close. Don't know if establishing a trade route will work with them, but okay. And let's. Okay. Sorry, her things. We need more weapon things. We don't. We need more horses too. Okay. A trio of strange beings has eluded your patrols. 
These lizard men are probably the dragon dudes you've heard legends about. For 12 hours, they've been enacting a mysterious ritual on your lands. So we watch them until they leave. Try to communicate with them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Emerald Lady, you try communicating with them. Dragon Dudes glanced at us briefly, then went back to the ritual. Two hours later, they left our lands. Hopefully, that isn't going to foul things up. Okay, let's... Save. We're not feuding with anybody. The one clan we were feuding with is a member of our tribe now. You don't raid tribe mates if you can help it. But we could probably try a cattle raid. We haven't done that in a while. You just said that before. Okay. There. Put one more weapon thing on the troll. Okay, let's try a cattle raid. Dijanesti are the weakest of the nearby clans. The Nari are the weakest of the nearby clans. Of course, the Nari are our best friends. They're in our tribe. We're allied with them. Okay, the Genesti might be a better choice because they haven't liked us that much anyway. They're not in our tribe. Managed to ride right onto their tool and bring home 34 cows that ever be noticed. So let's save that. Okay, and let's see if we can try a diplomatic mission. Let's see, we aren't feuding with anybody. We're allied with those clans. The ones we owe favors to, and those are the ones that. Ask someone for food. Oh, we're about to have the harvest come in. We could try forming an alliance with the Scopy. Your emissary, Ernold Dini, approaches the Buscovi, seeking to negotiate an alliance with them. First, she presents the gifts we sent. The Buscovi are most pleased with the gifts we present to them. Once the gift giving is over, how does she approach the Buscovi for this alliance? Okay, and she suggests you need warriors to protect you, we need food. Their chief, Jostharl, agreed that our two clans should be allies. Your swords will protect us and we'll cook the food for your victory feast. Strange and primitive warriors get past your patrols to take two cows from you. The wolfskin clad raiders are so bold they butcher the cows in the spot rather than driving them away. The Carls are sure that this will happen again. You can find their camp and talk peace with them. Find their camp and launch a punitive strike, have hunters hunt and trap wolves. Tell other clans who want many wolf skins or track down and kill these particular raiders. Okay, we've got one, three, or five. Two or three. One, two, or five. Yeah, by, by day they're human, by night they're wolves. Okay. I think Ultimately, we want to make peace with them, if we can. They refuse to speak with us, so that sure didn't work. Well, we might try another diplomatic mission before Earth season's over, or maybe another trading mission. 
but we'll do that in the next episode, so we will see you then.